I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Resting him a little bit. Puny god. What's going on with Nick's Nation? I want to welcome you back to Nick's Deli. Today, what I want to do is I want to compare McCall Bridges to Tayshawn Prince. To me, they both have the same playing styles, okay? If you look at both of them, it's almost like one is like a contrasting of a, of a sleek and modern sports car with a classic, reliable sedan, okay? Bridges is known for his defensive versatility and his three-point shooting. His game is built on the ability to guard multiple positions with the agility of a ballet dancer on, on fast breaks, okay? Now let's fast forward. He's also often the unsung hero who gets under the skin of the opposing team's best scorer, making them question their life choices and shot selection as well, okay? On offense, his three-point shooting is just as reliable, all right, as anybody else in the league, all right, providing a crucial spacing element that we're gonna be able to benefit from on the New York Knicks. Now, for those of you who do remember Tayshaun Prince, in his prime with the Pistons, he was a defensive maestro, okay? He, he had a lanky frame, but he had Spider-Man-like wingspan, okay? That made him a nightmare for any opponent during their drives to the basket. He could switch onto guards and then switch onto big men, all right? And this often left them in a state of existential crisis, I promise you, believe me. Prince's offensive game, while not as flashy as his defense, was also clutch, okay? He had an ability to hit key shots, especially from the mid-range and beyond the arc, all right? But he was also instrumental in Detroit's success, particularly during their 2004 championship run, all right? Now, what reminded me them of, of, of each other was the roles that they played on the team, okay? Bridges will have to embrace the role of the ultimate blue guy, okay? He'll need someone to lock down, he'll be someone to lock down the opponent's star play okay he's that guy he's also that guy to hit a timely three-pointer for us he got us covered okay if you need someone with more minutes he's a marathon runner okay bridges is ready to lace up anytime his versatility and his unselfish play is going to make him indispensable for our squad okay when we think back on Tayshawn prince his role in detroit was similar but somewhat different as well okay he was also the Pistons' defensive anchor, often tasked with guarding the best wing players in the league. His iconic block, if you remember, on Reggie Miller is always a highlight NBA TV is running. So in the 2004 Eastern Conference Finals, that's when that took place. Offensively, he was a reliable scorer who could be counted on in clutch situations, and that made him a cornerstone of that Pistons championship team, okay? So this is why they remind me of each other in terms of what they'll be bringing to the squad. Now, statistically, Bridges and Prince offer a, 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 a good comparison. Bridges, early in his career, he averaged about 13 points a game. Uh, he had strong shooting percentages, uh, defensive metrics, everything. That was all good for the stat nerds, you know. Prince, during his peak with the Pistons, also averaged about 12 to 14 points. He also has similar shooting splits, with a notable edge though in defensive stats like blocks and steals because he was long and lanky, all right? While Bridges may have a slight edge in the modern advanced metrics, and you know I'm not a metrics guy, Tayshaun Prince, his contributions in the early 2000s, they're equally as impressive, okay? Especially when you consider the different eras that they both played in. Uh, Bridges' impact is often seen as defensive wind shares and player efficiency rating, all right? While Prince's legacy is cemented in his playoff performances and his key defensive stops. That's why I'm looking forward to the playoffs. These players will start to have moments. They're gonna start to have moments, all right? Now, when I think of McCall Bridges in college, his career at Villanova was nothing short of spectacular. He in college was part of the Wildcats team that won two national championships in 2016 and 2018. And that cemented their legacy as one of the most successful teams and him being one of the most successful players 
in that program's history. Bridges' effectiveness during that time stemmed from his defensive prowess, his ability to stretch the floor with his shooting, and his knack for making clutch plays. And that's why they love him in this part of the country. His performance in 2018 in the tournament, he scored 17 points a game, all right? And he shot over 50% from the field. All of that was a testament to his all-around game and his ability to perform under pressure. And JB got the same thing and Josh Hart got the same thing. And when he came into the league and he joined the Suns, transitioning to the NBA, Bridges continued to excel and quickly became a key player for the Suns. His effectiveness during that time in the NBA could be attributed to his adaptability, and that's what we're going to need from him, and also his work ethic. Bridges is often tasked as the guarding, um, the player guarding their best opponent on a perimeter, and he loves that, all right? His three-point shooting has also been significant since his time is in the NBA. And that's what makes him a perfect fit for what we're trying to do with the New York Knicks, okay? Ball movement, shot making. You know, he had a breakout season in 2021 where he played a crucial role in leading the Suns to that NBA Finals. All right, and during that stretch that showcased all of his ability on the highest level. So he showed that he could perform under the spotlight. But something that's underestimated is his camaraderie, the, the Nova Knicks, that connection on a professional level. That camaraderie between McCall, Jalen, Josh, Dante, we all laugh at it, it's, it, you know, it's heartwarming for us. But all of those players were key contributors to Villanova's national championship runs and their bonds, they extend beyond the court. During their college years, they formed a, a tight-knit group, and all of them used to push each other to be better, both in games and in practice. And it's this connection that has uh, continued on in their professional careers, where they frequently support each other through social media interactions, public statements. We've all seen it, okay? But during their professional careers now, it gets serious. Their, their friendships translated here, you know, and or they've often faced each other being on different teams, but they've always kept that mutual respect and admiration, okay? And their camaraderie is often highlighted in interviews, social media, other players ribbing them, you know, but it speaks to that lasting connection that they formed at Villanova, all right? And this bond is going to be highlighted now that the Infinity, infinity Stones are combined and they're here on the same team, playing with the New York Knicks, okay? So McCall Bridges is definitely a special player. In terms of his strengths, what I love about him is his versatility. He can guard multiple positions. That makes him a valuable asset during various defensive schemes. His ability to switch onto guards, wings, even some big men, that provides immense flexibility for our team's defense. Also, his three-point shooting. Bridges has an ability to knock down three-pointers at a high clip. Also, his work ethic and his intangibles. Let me throw that in there as well. He's known for his tireless work ethic, okay? McCall brings intangibles that don't always show up on the stat sheet. And that's a lot of people on our team. His leadership, his hustle, unselfish play, all of that is invaluable to what we are building and already have built here at the mix. Now, his weaknesses are ball handling under pressure. Though Bridges is effective off the ball, his ball handling could be a weakness of his, okay? Especially if he's pressured by aggressive defenders. Um, he's improving in this area of his game, but it's still something he has to work on, okay? The next thing I'm concerned about is that he can't create his own shot. Bridges sometimes struggles to create his own shot, especially in isolation situations, okay? He's developing better one-on-one -on -one scoring moves, uh, but he still has to elevate that part of his offensive game. And one last thing I'll talk about is his physicality in the paint. Despite his defensive prowess, Richards can struggle with more physical players in the paint. I think he still needs to add a little bit of strength and improve his physicality, and that'll help him when he's driving to the basket and he's finishing. And we, we've seen those improvements, but that's still something he has to work on. Now, I talked about how other players look at it. Everybody's talking about Nova Knicks, but there's several players that have, um, you know, really gave him props. Chris Paul, and talking about McCall Bridges one time, you know, as his teammate, he said, 
McCall is one of the best defenders I've ever played with. This is coming from Chris Paul. You know, he said that he makes his job easier, much easier, knowing that he's out there locking guys down. That's coming from one of the toughest defensive guards in NBA history. Okay? Now, when we're reflecting on his career and the possibility uh, of him coming to the Knicks, we used to always be like, yeah, Patrick, SpongeBob, you know, it, uh, uh, playing outside and, and Bridges is on the inside looking through the blinds. We used to always joke about that, you know? And um, I laugh because I say, I mentioned the word joke. And it was, it was a joke about the New York Knicks being Nova Knicks. It started with us being the Kentucky Wildcats, okay? And they were saying like, nobody wants to come to New York, so the Knicks gotta go put together a college team. They're getting all Kentucky players. And then when we switched up and we found a little something in Brunson, then we pivoted. And what was once a joke is no longer a joke. The New York Knicks got McCall Bridges. The New York Knicks got McCall Bridges. And they are a step closer to an NBA championship. But I really wanted to point out what I was thinking, and that was the comparison between McCall Bridges and Tayshawn Prince. So you tell me if I'm on or if I'm off. All right? Keep this in mind, saying it applies to life, it applies to our team. If there's no struggle, there's no progress. But remember this, whether it's out here in the real world or right here in these YouTube streets. Here in Next Daily, everybody eats.